Hey guys, I just wanted to do a review of K-Pop Town. This is K-Pop Town's home page. And you can see, here's your options of everything you can buy on this site. You can only buy Korean stuff, so they won't carry any Japanese albums or artists. So if you go to like the CDs, you can search here on the left by group if you want, if you don't want to type it in up here. And the collectibles section will also have like all the merch. So if I go to like the BTS official, you're going to get all the BTS special stuff, like their on stage stuff that they just came out with, as well as like jewelry and things like that. So ordering from this site is pretty simple. You just click your item, it tells you how many reward points you can get, or loyalty points. And then they kind of have a picture of what your stuff's going to actually look like, as if you opened it up already. And then they kind of give you need help type part, you know, if you have posters, how long it's going to take for shipping, and things like that. As well as like other items that they would recommend or people are buying. So if you do buy stuff from them, these loyalty points, you will have to cash in, in a sense. You'll go to my loyalty points, and then it'll break it down how many points you've earned. And then you just transform them into vouchers, and then you use those vouchers on your orders when you check out to get that money off. So I've only earned up to $3.20. I haven't really ordered too much from here, only four things. I do have one of the items here that I'll be unboxing in just a moment, but I just kind of wanted to go over the website and things. One of the things with this site that I don't like is there's not really a section for if you have questions or things like that. I mean, the best you get is this how to order section where they kind of break down how to order anything from there, how to like look at your cart, what everything on it means. Like the green means that they for sure have it in stock. Red means it's probably out of stock or you're buying the last of it. As well as like your shipping. They have discount codes if you're buying something other than albums. It's usually for the, like you can see the jewelry. They have food. And then what payment methods they'll allow. Shipping styles. I always go at least the registered airmail. Just so I can get the tracking. And then they have like their breakdown again and checking out through PayPal and such like that. But when you go, so let's just search like icon. There's stuff, you have only these few styles to search. You never know what's actually out of stock. It doesn't tell you that the item's out of stock. So I highly recommend to search by what's in stock unless you know what you specifically want. Because you can go in, let's just look at this item. And then it'll have a drop down and you'll pick who you want. And they'll start to cross them out or they'll disappear if it's out of stock. But if the actual item is out of stock, like all of it, you're not going to know. So let's search by in stock. Go to the last page. I don't know, they're in newer groups. All their stuff might still be in stock. Yeah, so all their stuff is still in stock, but usually it would just say this item's out of stock, out of stock. So it can get a little hard. You'll be looking through and thinking, oh, they have this album I can't find anywhere else. You try to buy it and find out they don't have it either. So I don't really like that feature on this website. That's why when I do it, I always search by what's in stock, because whatever's first, they're going to have the most of. Which means you'll also get, it'll get shipped out faster. But this is the website. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. And I'll do my best to help out. I haven't used this site as much. I do prefer Yes Asia or K-Town for you. It gets a little mixed up. <laughs> but those are the two sites I personally prefer. But that's it for this site. I'm now going to unbox the package that came in so you can see how they boxed everything for me. And I'm going to do a breakdown of what I bought and how much it ended up costing me all together. All right. Okay, hey guys. So this is the box that I got. 
from the K-Town, K-Pop Town. Uh, I ordered it on December 26th, but I'll kind of get into more of that stuff in a minute. So it comes with all this bubbly stuff up top. I'm just going to try and maybe just shuffle it out of the way. So it does have some bubble wrap on the bottom of the box instead of this. And you know, I guess did it to fill it. Oh, pop that out of the way. And then here is the package all wrapped in bubble wrap. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I only bought three items. I got BAP's Power, their album Bad Man, as well as the Live on Earth Tour, I guess you could say. So, well, these are all reflecting. It's okay. So basically, it kind of broke down to, since these are older albums, they were a bit cheaper. So I got Power for $8.70. I got Bad Man for $11.90, and then their tour was still pretty expensive. It was $46.90. And then my shipping and handling with tracking, so it was the registered airmail, or the registered mail, only cost me $11.90. So the cost of Bad Man was my shipping, basically. So I did order it on December 26th. So I guess they must have been low in stock because they didn't end up shipping any of it to me till January 5th. And then I'm in Michigan in the United States and I didn't get it till the 14th. I did have to sign for it just like Yes Asia and the K-Town for you. My very first purchases were always signatured. I always had to sign for my very first package. And then I'm not sure if they're going to have me keep signing for all my packages or if it was just going to be the first one. But you do have to sign for this package when it does come. So I wasn't home when mine arrived so I had to go pick it up. So yep, this is what I got. That's kind of how much it cost. Oh and you can get these with posters. I don't know if you still can but you do get the option on this site to have them folded or you can have them stay unfolded and wrapped into the tubes or no poster options. I didn't go with the poster options. I really do like the Batman poster, so I wish I could have gotten it, but they didn't have the posters. But that's it. I hope you guys like this review and look at this site. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys like these reviews. I can do another website or if there's a site in particular you guys want to know about. Just let me know. And until the next video, bye guys.